What's up guys, Kets here from Matters of Darts, and today we're doing a first impressions and unboxing of the brand new Mission Samurai Infinity Board. Before we get started, I'd just like to thank Commission for sending me the board and a few other bits and pieces so I can review them uh, and give them my thoughts. Now, as always with dart boards, um, you can't really review them within the space of a couple of days. Um, so this is just going to be a first impressions video, um, just going over some of the features of the board. Um, how it feels out of the box and then also i'm going to do a follow-up video in probably like a month's time or so um, when i've had a full rotation of the board uh, just to see how it wears down so um yeah it comes in a really nice looking box um it's sort of a brand new sort of bluish color which is a bit different to other dartboards on the market it's not like the white color you sometimes see um, which is actually really nice um, something a little bit different when you first look at the board you think it's like a little bit distracting because of the blue colors um, why do you actually have it up on the board it's or actually have it up on the wall and you're playing um you don't really notice it which is quite nice um anyway mission say the samurai infinity is a comp competition standard top quality dart board with a softer more receptive size or compaction and an ultra thin wire construction um which is quite nice to see um if you play super league or if you've played with the mission samurai you'll see a lot of people don't like the board purely because of how hard it is and um yeah, so Mission have decided to bring out a new board that's a little bit softer um, and, in their words, a more premium dart board. Uh, Mission say this was, this board is also uh, has high quality sizal with uniform compaction, which means there's less hard spots or dead spots. Uh, the printing has been improved, so it looks like, from my view, when I look at the board, it looks like the ink is actually sort of more soaked into the sizal. Um, I think the problem with the Mission Samurai was it felt like the ink was sort of printed on top, so especially on like the black segments and uh, also like the red and green segments, you'd have to sort of like get through the ink before you even reach the sizal. So um, this board's definitely printed a lot better as well, a lot better printing techniques used on it. Uh, the board's also got a nice sort of uh, HD as such numbering. Um, I wouldn't really call it HD numbering. It's more a clearer numbering. Um, the wire on the outside is black, uh, only the numbers are white, um, which is really cool. Um, something just really basic, but it goes a long way uh, in terms of the look of the dartboard. Uh, Mission say the Samurai 2 will actually remain in production. Uh, it will remain as the professional board and the Samurai Infinity will be the new luxury board. Um, now, looking at that, you'd probably think, oh God, this, uh, the new Samurai Infinity is going to be quite expensive. Um, if you look at some of the other dartboards on the market, some of them reach sort of up to 70 plus pounds. But um, I was actually really surprised by the price. So the Samurai Infinity dartboard is actually going to cost $49.95, which um, in terms of the quality of the dartboard, it makes it really, really competitive with other dartboards on the market. Um, in the background, you are probably seeing me set up the dartboard. Um, I also got the Samurai Infinity Surround. Um, Mission are also releasing uh, Samurai 2 surrounds as well, as well as some other little accessories too. So in terms of playing on the board, how did I feel it went? Um, so first impressions are, yeah, it's a soft board. Um, probably one of the softer boards on the market. You're looking more at traditional sort of older style dartboards. Um, if you're looking at other brands, I'd probably say it's similar to a sort of blade board or a unicorn board in terms of its softness. Um, now, however, I have noticed in the past that some softer boards do wear away quite quickly. Um, so that remains to be seen whether that softness does um, affect the durability of the board. But yeah, the board is really soft. Um, I think one thing sort of people look for, especially sort of higher level dart players, is when their darts go in the board, um, especially just using plain silver points, which is what I tested out this board with, um, do your darts go in the board and then change angle as they hit the board. Now I actually filmed my darts hitting the board in slow motion and I didn't seem to see any sort of drop or change in angle of entry. Um, when my darts hit the board, they sort of stayed at the same angle, they didn't drop. Um, so that was really nice to see. The size really did sort of feel like it was gripping the dart. You can kind of feel sort of like as you pull the dart out, it feels like the size will sort of like clamps around your point rather than just sort of sitting in there, which is a strange feeling. It's hard to describe. But um, yeah, it feels like almost the size will grab your point. So hopefully um, with just some plain silver points, you won't get as many bounce outs as other boards, which is quite nice. But obviously that remains to be seen. 
In terms of its softness, uh, what I was doing was playing with, I believe, 50 millimeter points or 45 millimeter points. Um, and I was just through a dart or through a couple of darts and uh, I took a point out and just like put the point next to the board next to the dart just to see how much of the point went in and as you can see on screen uh, a lot of the point went into the board so you can tell how soft these boards are especially compared to uh, sort of a Mission Samurai 2. But overall I think this board was actually really good out of the box um, as I said it remains to be seen how durable it is but um, personally for me yeah it's really similar to um, a blade board. Um, in terms of how it feels out of the box how soft it feels do you sort how premium it sort of feels in terms of like size or quality um but yeah as i said remains to be seen how durable it is but first impressions for 50 pounds really good quality dartboard um i would say if you're in the market for a new board and you've got 50 pounds to spend i would probably recommend trying this out um it's worth the money i think 50 pound for a dartboard nowadays especially from a company like mission it's going to be hard to go wrong really and yeah guys that's it for this video i hope you've enjoyed uh, sorry it's not too informative but obviously you only get a limited amount of time to play with the board before launch um, i'm going to do a follow-up video to this in about a month's time or two months time once i've had a good practice on the board and a good bit of rotation uh, just see how the dartboard dur like durability is uh, and yeah that's basically it for this video guys if you've enjoyed let me know in the comments down below what do you think of the new mission uh, dartboard will you be picking one up um are you glad they've brought out a new dartboard that's a bit softer? But yeah, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you soon with some other darts content. Thanks, guys. See you later.